Hi there, this is Dan Lyons from howtomakepodcastlikeapro.com. Today I want to talk to you about podcast hosting because I've done a lot of research and I've found something which I really think you're going to like. It's called Buzzsprout. So let's go and take a look at it. The thing I like about Buzzsprout is it's a fantastic solution to all of your podcasting needs. And I really like it because it's very, very simple. Sometimes when you're podcasting, there can be loads of different plugins and you've got plugins in one area and then you've got storage on another site and where you're going to host your audio and all the rest of it. And it becomes a bit of a nightmare. Buzzsprout really is just a place where you can do it all in one place with a really simple, basic interface. So before I go ahead, I just want to say I'm obviously not getting any kickbacks from these guys. They're not putting money in my pocket to do this review. Okay, so this is basically how my Buzzsprout page looks here. Now, when you do sign up to Buzzsprout, they give you your own little Buzzsprout site, but chances are, if you're like me, you won't really want to be pointing people to that site. You'll have your own WordPress blog, and uh, there's a Buzzsprout plugin for your own WordPress blog, which I'll tell you about in a few moments. But this is basically the interface, and the thing I like about this interface is it's just so easy simple. We have my episode history here, really easy to upload a new episode, just uh, click on the blue button, it takes you through here. You have your audio file, you just click to upload it. I'm just trying to think if there's something that I can upload here. So as that's uploading, this is what you're filling out here, just a title and description of what this is going to be, an optional description here. And then your tags. Now, I don't fill out my tags in Buzzsprout because I already have them filled out in FeedBurner. But that's another video altogether. Uh, what you would be doing, if you're going to follow in my footsteps and a lot of other people do, is set up the Buzzsprout account and then reburn their feed in FeedBurner. So it's really, really basic to upload a new episode. There's also some other pretty cool features in Buzzsprout, like the promotion feature. And what this basically does is it gives you a couple of options of promoting your podcast to the world, really. So you have the option of your own little Buzzsprout site, which I guess is okay. I mean, it doesn't do any harm. I'm not sure exactly how much traffic you're going to get through that on your own website. This is what we're really concerned about. See, what you can do, and this is the beauty of Buzzsprout, it shows you different ways that you can embed your podcast episode within your website. So this, if you like the look of this, then this is the code. So all you do is you copy the code and then you put it into your HTML window in your WordPress site and you publish that and that's how it looks on your WordPress site. Pretty cool, huh? Alternatively... If you don't want the player and you just want a link here that people can click on, this is the code. And your third option is if you want a page that just has all of your podcasts that have been done to date, this is the code. And this is the uh, little media player. So as you can see, I've got my four episodes there and it's in one little cool looking media player, just a little flash player. So that's about promoting stuff on your own website. If you want to get listed in iTunes, this is even easier. Basically, what you need to do if you're not going through FeedBurner is to copy this link below and then <laughs> this does it all for you. Launch iTunes, that page comes up and you copy that into that bar and then you just wait for the iTunes approval. And then it's got another little section down here about other podcast directories where you basically take your RSS feed and you can drop it into some of these directories. Now, I will tell you, and Buzzsprout need to really get onto this, some of these directories are actually out of date and they're not going through to anything. It's either a blank page or a page with an error. And what I really think they could do if they wanted to to help podcasters is research some other podcast directories a lot better. I mean, there's only sort of four or five here. You know, there's 20 or 30 other podcast directories that they could really post up there that would make an enormous difference to podcasters. Then we have the statistics page. I'm not a huge fan of this page simply because I rely on the statistics in FeedBurner a lot more. But the other reason I don't particularly like this page is because it took so long to get up and running. I had to have four podcasts before the statistic page actually represented 
any statistics of uh, downloads and listens. So yeah, I wasn't entirely happy with that because I didn't feel that it was totally accurate. But overall, look, if I was to mark Buzzsprout out of 10, for me, it would be an eight. I'm just really, really stoked with it because like I said at the start of the video, you can just about do everything that you need to do here and it interfaces perfectly with WordPress. What I will say though, if you're going to use a service like Buzzsprout, is to make sure that you back up all of your audio. Remember, this is a business, it's someone's business, and businesses can go under. And I would hate for you to sign up to Buzzsprout on my recommendation, and then at some point down the track, if it happens to fold, you might lose all your audio. So make sure you back up every single bit of audio that you're going to post to Buzzsprout. So what I'm on at the moment is a $9 a month sapling plan. That gives me four hours of audio every single month, which there is no way that I'm going to exceed that because I'm only podcasting uh, once a fortnight. And even when I'm doing that, it's only for 20 or 30 minutes. So I get unlimited storage, unlimited bandwidth and no advertising. But you don't have to pay $9 a month. You can actually do the free sample plan, which gives you uh, two hours a month. But the thing is, you do get some ads with it. And they delete your episode after 90 days. So uh, look, that's not particularly great. Maybe good for a trial. But uh, remember, if you're on the trial, definitely upgrade because they do, like I said, delete your episodes after 90 days. Now, I know that $9 a month does seem a little more expensive. I know other hosting sites charge, you know, between $7 and maybe even up to $11 for hosting. But bear in mind, this is more than just a host. You can publish your audio here as well. And again, the way that it interfaces with WordPress is just incredible. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so here I am in the dashboard of my WordPress. Now, I want to add a new post here. And what I'm about to show you is how easy it is to put a podcast up using the Buzzsprout plugin on your blog. Okay, so let's just call this test podcast, for example. This is the Buzzsprout plugin here. So all I do is click on this, and this directly interfaces with Buzzsprout. I love it. And then I go, okay, these are all my episodes. Episode one, uh, three radio DJ tips to content creation. So I click on that. There's a little code. I want to save that draft. And then let's preview it to see how it actually looks. This is it. How easy is that? I mean, that literally took five seconds to do. The system with Buzzsprout is so easy, it's so basic, and it looks good as well. So thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, please go to my website, howtomakepodcastslikeapro.com, and sign up to my email newsletter.